So in 2017, we put our intake and Y pipe and up pipe on this truck. And what did we do? One injector. One injector. We did a number seven injector, put a reman in it. And it's that was in 17. What year is it now? It's 21. Mm -hmm. Truck had 124,000 miles on it. Now it's got about 171,000. It's back here because he's ready to go ahead and put the other seven injectors in it. Don't even start with the batteries looking like that. See that green corrosion? That's the first thing I'm gonna address. If you use hot water, watch what this thing does. Now it gets it everywhere. Okay, use a little common sense. The alternator, the belt, you absolutely could squeak the belt. Most of the other stuff under here is absolutely waterproof. Now, watch what hot water does. I'm going to stand back so he doesn't splash the water all over my phone. Okay, that's just hot water. You see all that? I mean, it doesn't take much. You see what I just did? It doesn't take much to clean it off. It's crankcase ventilation. It, you're going to get oil accumulating on the boots. That is what it is. So right here is the spot you're going to clean. That is going to make the belt squeak. It very possibly could got a good old gator back on there. Is that actual gator back? It is. Oh my god. <laughs> been a minute since it's been in here. They are getting a camper. They want to be able to tow the camper and oil change. We all saw that the uh, oil filter cap was wrong. Oil change I think is also going to get a couple of glow plugs. This truck is an 03. Right now the, the, the crankcase is sealed. You can spray right down this passage right down here down here and up here and try to clean off the ridge from the valve cover gasket to the rocker box to the valve cover. All I really want to do is get the water spots off because the water spots dry horrible. Car wash isn't always the best for this because you will, a car wash wand will damage a harness. I mean, it'll actually damage things. It'll, depending on what we're doing, I'll also go underneath, spray the radiator connections, go under and just spray a little bit. It's a good time to clean it off. We're not going to clean the bottom of the truck while it's on the concrete. If I do that, I would put it on the gravel to clean the bottom. But this is a top end injector job. So I want to get what we're going to work on clean. Burn a little bit of brake clean on the CAC boot if it's real nasty. It just eliminates it. Now, it only eliminates it here at the top, but at least it gets some of it clean. The main thing we want to actually clean is the charge air cooler and I'm gonna hit it and clean the brake clean right off, rinse it down. Now, if you sh did you show that before I cleaned it? Mm -hmm. Look how clean it is now. It didn't take much time at all and rinse the brake clean off so it doesn't sit on there and it actually cleans it up really well. There's another little spot you can hit right over here. You might do it before you take the air filter off. If you look down in there, you can see the cold side off the charge air cooler. You can kind of hit that a little bit. Just see hit it, it a little. Right. It's down there. You can kind of see it. It's a little dark. Yeah, you can see it when you're actually standing there. I'll just hit it a little bit. Just a little. And then spray it. I don't want that brake clean in there. The brake clean is just going to help loosen it up. Don't get it on the paint or anything like that. And then another thing I like is like down in here. See, there's always nasty stuff in the fenders right here in the line. See all that crap? So, just touch it. Most of the time, you just touch it. That's all you got to do. And then when you get done with your truck and you pop your hood, and everybody's like, what'd you do today? And you did injectors on your truck and you pop the hood and everything actually looks like it was just touched. That'll make you feel, it makes me feel good to do that. So, yeah, I pulled Julie over here because I had a couple of things. I don't really want to miss any steps. I want you guys to see More everything. cleaning tips. Yeah, yeah, because, I mean, this is everything we do. I mean, if nobody wants to see it, then okay, all right, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm imagining that some of you probably do. We're gonna put this up, we're done with this for now. I don't want to get too carried away. Just in certain spots. Like I am not going to hit this because I don't want to take a chance on that grease actually coming off and going down on the belt. Because if you break clean this right here, you will squeak the belt. So I use water only and then I actually wash the belt off. Now I've been burnt about as many times as I've been saved by doing that, but I, I just can't stand to let the truck sit there and just almost look withered away. If it comes to the sh if it comes to the shop, or if it's if we're gonna take the time to actually work on it, why don't we just? We're not in that big of a hurry. I mean, I'd like to feel good about what I did that day, wouldn't you? So it, see how hard this is. I mean, this is excruciatingly painful, isn't it? Just wipe around it and wash it off and touch it. I mean, it, it's taken way longer to video to show you what we normally do than if I would have just went ahead and done it. But then I never would have. There you go, so.
We're going to get this done and we're going to get it inside. Sorry guys. Anthony's just over here getting a spot ready for some parts we're about to take off. Uh, toolbox cleaned up. Just cleaning it up. Getting ready. Okay, so we got um, our workspace is clean, our cart's ready, toolbox. I went ahead and got out our our drain, oops, our drain pans that we use, two of those, since okay. we're going into both sides. Bring and I went ahead and put and we got the, the injectors right. in oil. We do soak them in oil. They come in bags and bubble wrap, and these little caps are usually over the injector nozzle. This is an O3. The O3 injectors are a different part number. This is an O3? Yep, this is an O3. So these are white top injectors. He's a little bummed right now. He didn't let it dry enough. It got tire tracks on the floor, but yeah, he'll clean them up. The you guys are process. Find out what a special tool is. Yep. You're gonna find out exactly why we use it. First thing, it's gonna be repetitive on some of it. Drain coolant. Just to make sure we have everything ready, we do have a number six low plug coat in this. I watched back on the video I made for the I made for the customer on his diag. Because this is an O3, the low plug wiring is different. Um, hopefully not breaking anything with the glow plug wires. It. Probably ohm it out just to double check, make sure it's not a wiring problem, but it actually is the glow plug. Anthony said, why does this have gold in it? We didn't necessarily push red coolant on every customer on every truck years and years and years ago. It probably had a good oil it, cooler or something. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't look to be cross-contaminated with red or green or anything like that. I'm so. sure there's a video on it. Um, yeah. Yeah, I messed up because, okay, drain the coolant. I wanted to clean it all up and then the, these shells were disgusting. The floor was dirty. So I wanted to go ahead and clean that up and get started so we don't wind up with a whole mess of just crap everywhere, you know? So right now is the time when normally you should go clean up all your area while you're draining coolant. I messed that up. Well, we were also letting the tires try and dry. Let, Let it dry, dry as much as we can. It's been outside dripping for a couple of minutes. Now, right now, you could blow a little bit there, but just for an injector job, you don't have to. And you don't even have to drain it all. I want to be down pretty low so we can take the heater core tube off. Basically, both sides of the heater core tube, I want them disconnected. I kind of want to pound it into your head about how these terminals... Remember, I loosen the nut up so it's almost all the way off. And then take some pliers like this. Get some if you ain't got none. Get some pliers like this, just backwards pliers. And then spread it out a little bit and lift it up. Okay, now it's ready to go on when we're done. Since it was tightened up in the wrong place, you're gonna have to fight it because there's gonna be a lip right there. About like that is about how I would want it. Not like that. We're already gonna touch it and take it apart. Now be careful when you squeeze this together. Yes, be careful. Because you can squeeze it, actually deform it by squeezing it. Hook the negative right here on the hood stop. Perfect. That's done. Now we'll take the 10 millimeter and we'll pop off the accessory. And I just impact it. And I do put the nut back on this battery cable right here. And then remember, we got the 10 still in our hand. Oh, look at that. See, it's so messed up, you can't even get you can't even get on it, so we'll have to try to, right there. I mean, at that point, just get it off. Just get it off of there, and then now we have to play with trying to get these straightened up, because it is bent all crazy. And the biggest reason for this, guys, and you know if you've watched, but this might be your first time watching, we cannot buy battery cables from Ford anymore. You cannot get them. Uh, they say you can, and they're really expensive, but well, they're- 600 bucks or something? Yeah, they're not available. There are a few aftermarket companies. We haven't tried any yet, but let's it's take care of our battery cables. You know, you, we've replaced a lot of battery cables. And it used to be a $100 bill for the battery cable, and we sold hundreds of them. Yes. Maybe more than hundreds, I don't Maybe. know. Maybe. But see, take, you see how long I'm spending on this? If you don't take the time on that, and you're gonna wish you did when it's time to go back together. If you want to separate it just a little bit. But you see how I got the, the nut out? See it? I loosened it up so I can stretch it out. Okay, now that almost looks like a normal battery terminal. We actually might be able to put that back on and it look better than it was when it came in. So we'll do the same thing over here. And when, when we're doing injectors, it's nice to have the room in the tray to set stuff. So just get the batteries out. Don't try to halfway do it. 
that's a pain in the butt. Just get the, both batteries, take them out because it's only two eight millimeters. Two eight millimeter, look, this one doesn't even have any hold downs on it. So this one's actually out right now, look. It didn't even have hold downs. What do you guys think we're gonna do? We need to put hold downs on it to hold the batteries down. So it's things like that, why the estimate of however much we tell you it's gonna cost, just very change. rarely can it stay there. I mean, unless we just say to heck with it, I don't care if your batteries are bolted down, but we have the ability to get the hold downs to put them on there. Now you have to buy them from the parts store. Get them from the parts store, don't even try Ford. Because Ford, they're such a pain in the butt and Dorman sells them. It's a battery hold down. We're not gonna just get them from O'Reilly's. This is another one, look, that's a new hose. It was a new hose back in 2017. <laughs> so I'm not gonna garble it up by putting the clamp further down. Broken record, repetitive syndrome. Now this is, now we'll go ahead and get another set of these and I'll barely put them on. Oh my gosh, You're gonna, you guys are gonna see if I buy a radiator. Grab it just a little bit and cock it. Oh, come on, sideways. There it goes. Oh, it didn't crack. Did you hear that? Normally you'll hear a crack when the hose pops loose of the radiator. Okay. Yeah, when the rubber comes loose of the plastic. And then I will go ahead, just like I said, take these clamps off, that way the clamps. Normally, you now if it's an old hose and it doesn't look good and there's witness marks and it's all destroyed, go. I would just move the hose over to here and, and let it clamp and that would keep it. But when the hoses look good, I don't want to put lines on them. So We want to be able to like clean that. that, clean that and make it look almost brand new again. This is a special tool right here which we don't even really need it right because the clamp is a little over right here. A lot of times this clamp, especially on early, early model or late models, it'll be over even more. This, this is enough. You could probably put an eight short well on it on a Milwaukee and pop it loose. Why don't I loosen it? And then a uh, air filter. You guys remember the air filter? Let me go ahead and show you there. Let me show you. It's going to be a long video. Okay. Loosen that up. Now be careful here. Just push in, push it. And put your finger there and push it out just like that now 0304 is clipped on the filter or the uh dipstick and down here filter minder okay first thing i would always do is pull this tab up and unplug it right get it unplugged and then you can just grab it with some force twist it around boom it's gone okay right there now i've got that gone we'll just set this over here on on our shelf with all our set it on our shelf stuff okay remember remember what i said put your hand here put your thumb here put your hand here Pop it off, boom, there you go, done. Go up and cock it to the side like that, take it around, and there you go, there's your air filter. It's all gone. It has probably been 75,000 times have I wheeled the creeper under here and knocked this bucket and spilled coolant all over the place. I just about did it just now and I said, you know what, you probably ought to catch that because I've done it so many freaking times that I imagine somebody else is gonna do it. Everywhere we do a job, everybody that's in here, I want a bucket and get a lid on it. Now I want to put this in a bucket so that more stuff doesn't get on it. You guys ever duck through coolant? Uh, Freaking nasty. Ah, that's very, very dirty gold. Uh, that that would correspond with uh, 2017 coolant. So this has been in service for 17, 18, 19. Yeah, that, that's that's gold coolant that is ready to be changed. 